Hello everybody, so I wanted to take a moment just to talk to you a little bit about stimulus generalization today. Uh, this is one of our learning standards for principles of marketing, but it's not really detailed in your textbook. So I thought just making a separate video for you here, just really short, hopefully just a couple of minutes, uh, if I can make myself stop talking. Um, I, I think this will be helpful to you as you prepare for your final exam and for your assignments this week. So I want to first... Um, talk to you a little bit about stimulus generalization. Uh, this really sounds as though it should be a term that you would find in the psychology department or um, something a little different than maybe what you're used to. So um, stimulus generalization is essentially just when a particular brand uses the same packaging, the same style, the same design, uh, same packaging for all or at least most of its products with the goal of extending its its goodwill to all of its products okay um, you might also see stimulus generalization uh, with competing brands okay so again it can be a certain brand using the same packaging for all of its different products and I will show you some examples in just a minute um, or you can see a competing brand using similar packaging as an established brand usually a competitor um, with the goal of trying to kind of steal or attract other customers. So let's take a couple, um, take a look at a few examples here. So uh, I, I think this meme is kind of funny here. So it, it's sort of hard to see on my screen here. I apologize, but it says day 37 and they still do not suspect that I am a mere cat, right? And you see this, uh, this cat here mixed in with all these other mere cats. So it's sort of funny there, play on words. Um, so an example here of stimulus generalization, you can see this company, these are obviously competitors, okay, you have classmate over here on the left, and you have class child on the right. Notice uh, the word notebook is in the same place on each slide, or on each uh, photo here. Notice they both have a globe, they're both yellow and blue, you know, you can make lots of comparisons, but these are competing products, okay, so in this case, um, Classmate is a really well-known um, notebook range by ITC, and they're trying to um, compete with this other brand. So they've, they've kind of stolen lots of things. They have similar design, uh, similar packaging. So that'd be one good example for you to see there. Um, another example that you're probably a little more familiar with is Pillsbury. Okay, we all know the Pillsbury Doughboy, and as your metabolism starts to slow down and you get older, you'll, you'll become a Pillsbury Doughboy like me, um, but as you look at these, uh, you can see um, the, the fun little character down here with cookies, um, and then over here to the right, you see the same Pillsbury Doughboy and um, the same logo and everything on cake mixes, okay? So this is sort of um, when I went back to talking about how a particular brand may use that same packaging on all or most of its products. You know, if, even if you've never tried Pillsbury cake mixes, you know whenever you see this little Pillsbury Doughboy that, oh, hey, I, I've had his cookies and he's great. So sure, I bet the cake mixes are going to be good too. I'm going to go ahead and give this brand a try. I'm, I'm similar to that. I'm, I'm familiar with this. So that is stimulus generalization. You generalize that, hey, I love this Pillsbury Doughboy with cookies. I'm also going to love his cakes. Okay. Um, so another example for you, uh, this can be something as similar as Nutella and the off-brand. You can see uh, even the hazelnuts are in the same spot on both packages. They use the same color scheme with black and red, some brown, some um, tannish colors here. You can see all those um, coming together. They're both a hazelnut spread. Oh, they're probably priced similarly. similarly. So um, that's another example of how competitors may use stimulus generalization to try to attract you. Um, I'm going to skip this one here. Um, Garnier, all of their different products you can see from their sun control, their um, lotions, their wrinkle releases, a cold cream. Their logo is in the same spot on all of these, and they all actually show the container of what it looks like on the inside on the actual package. So that's something they all have in common. Um, so all of their products have that same logo. It's positioned in the same place. It all shows um, the actual container, like you can see the bottle here. So kind of interesting there to keep in mind. Okay, and okay, I hope that gives you just a general idea of stimulus generalization. Another great example is the American Garden brand where you can see all these things are very different. There's barbecue sauce, there's jalapenos, you have mustard, some vinegar. Uh, back here it looks like tomato sauce maybe or tomato soup, something like that. 
and then pizza sauce, popcorn. These are all very different things, right? But you notice, look at the labels on all of these. They're all the same color. They all have this American Garden brand. There's always this blue thing in the background with this little red wavy-like logo, and it, it always has the item, and um, some say natural over top, some say microwave, original, sliced, whatever. It's the same logo, same layout. So if you're if you've tried their mustard before and then you say oh gosh I see barbecue sauce I know this brand's good or hey oh gosh look they have apple cider vinegar and they have popcorn I'm going to stick with this brand because I know that I've tried one thing and it's really good so I'm generalizing that these other things are also going to be great as well okay it's like someone who always buys um, Colgate toothpaste and then Colgate comes out with mouthwash oh hey I'm going to definitely get on board with that because I know that Colgate's a good brand so um, again stimulus generalization when a particular brand uses the same or similar packaging for all or most of its products. I hope this helps you guys kind of understand this topic. If you have any questions, let me know.